If you just met your HP 12C calculator, you may be thrown at first by the reverse Polish notation, but pretty soon it will become second nature to you. In the meantime, hopefully this video will walk you through the stack registers and exactly what's happening with the X and Y registers. So let's call this uh, video using uh, reverse Polish notation with a 12C or five enter two minus. Okay, first, let's do 5 minus 2. Let's turn the calculator on. This toggles it on and off. 5, enter, 2, minus, and there's our answer 3. Well, what exactly did the calculator just do, and why didn't we need an equals key? Well, the HP 12C has these stack registers, and what we see in the window here is the X register, but there's also a Y, a Z, and a T register. And finally, there's a last X register that you access with this uh, blue G key and that enter key down there. But let's not spend too much energy talking about last X. Let's focus on what just happened. So let's reset things. If we just wanted to clear the X window, we just hit this key here, clear X. If we wanted to clear all the registers, which includes not only the uh, stack registers, but the financial registers, plus these keys over here, which are storing uh, registers for us. We hit this F, clear registers to access that uh, gold menu above that key. So now what's the uh, X register having it? It's got zero. In fact, all these registers have zero in them because we cleared them out. Let's hit this R down and roll down. All these stack registers roll down. X rolls up to T, T down to Z, etc. And we should see nice all four zeros. Okay. Big picture with the HP 12C, what we're doing is we're telling uh, the calculator to do something to the two numbers that are in the Y and the X register could be something as simple as take the X register and subtract it from the Y register, or it could be something like take the Y register and raise it to the power of the X register. Today, we're just going to do 5 minus 2. Well, how do we get 5 into the Y register and X into the X2 into the X register? Well, let's start with all zeros here, and here's our X register with a, a zero in it. And let's hit 5, and now what's happening is 5 is in the X register. When we hit enter, it will move it into the Y register and the X register. So now we've got that 5 in the Y where we want it. We want to subtract 2. So we'll hit 2 minus our answer 3. We told the calculator to take whatever was in the X register and subtract it from the Y register. What should be in the other registers are zeros. Let's check and see. Let's roll down. There's our zero in the Y, zero in the Z, zero in T, and there's our three in the X. We could also have done five divided by two. So we would hit five, and that would uh, put five in the X register. Then we'd hit enter, and that would put it into the Y and the X register. Let's roll down and see if that's the case. Y has a 5, Z has a 0, T has a 0, and X has a 5. And now we want to do 2 divided by, so we'll hit 2 divided by, and there's our answer of 2.5. So if we roll down, we should see all zeros except for that 2.5. Sure enough, there we go. And a little trick, sometimes you get your dividend and your divisor mixed up, which number you're dividing into, and, which, and the number that you're using to divide by. You can use this XY key to flip-flop the contents of the Y and the X registers.